Welcome back to 6 News at 5. Time to take a look at your weather. We're starting off with our daily almanac, and there's a couple of things I want to point out. So we're going to talk a little bit during this weather cast about averages and how they're calculated. So our average high for November 1st is 74. Now, the National Weather Service gets their average highs by taking a 30 year average. That's 1991 to 2020. They're updated every 10 years, so we'll get new numbers in 2030. But from 1991 to 2020, you take every single November 1st in that time period, you divide it by 30 and you get 70. So this is how we get our averages. They're usually fairly recent averages. So today hitting 59, that's 15 degrees below the average and our overnight low of 33 was 17 degrees below our average low of 50. So when I say it's been very cold the last couple of days, somebody looks at me and says it's the end of October, early November. That's where we're supposed to be. Well, the answer to that is we are absolutely not supposed to be at these numbers for November 1st. So 59 and 33 for today. We were below average. We're going to stay below average for a couple of days yet, but we are in the middle of a warming trend that will take us into the weekend. But for today, Despite starting off in the lower 30s, we did miss freezing, so we still have not seen our official first freeze in most of Central Texas. We did end up getting close to 60 degrees in most spots. 57 from Marlin to Temple, 58 in Colleen, 57 in Gatesville, very close to 60, 59 there in Hamilton and in Goldthwaite. So a pretty comfortable day, especially when you consider those winds are calming down. We had plenty of sunshine. Of course, those two things will factor in tonight as we head to the overnight hours. Low winds and lots of clear skies will lead to temperatures that once again flirt with that freezing mark. So several areas did not hit freezing last night, but we do have a chance tonight. Colleen, Temple to Marlin, Waco could hit freezing again tonight. Hearn, Cameron and uh, Lampasas and Gatesville very close, but not quite getting down to that freezing mark. Despite that, areas that did not get down to freezing last night are still under a freeze warning for tonight. That's most of central Texas. If you uh, take Lamp Lampasas up to uh, uh, Coriel County and uh, Bell County, McLennan County, and then anywhere east of there, that's where we're looking for those freeze warnings again tonight. So again, make sure your pets, your plants, and your pipes are protected. Make sure those automatic sprinklers are off before you go to bed tonight. For tomorrow, let's add six or seven degrees to what we saw today. 65 in Marlin, 63 from Temple, 64 in Colleen, 66 in Hearn, 65 in Cameron. So yeah, we're going to warm up a little bit. That trend will last into the weekend. In fact, let's take a look at the next three days here. 64, how about 72 by Friday, 77 by Saturday. And there we're talking about those averages again. Our average high for this time of the year is around 74 degrees. So by Saturday, we will be back above the averages and we anticipate staying there. So it's November 1st and on the first of the month, I like to take a look at our monthly outlook and our monthly outlook from the Climate Prediction Center does show that we have at least about a uh, one third chance to about a 40% chance of seeing above average temperatures for the rest of the month. Better chances to our west, but we do have that chance to stay above average through the end of November. So I do think we will see some warm days in the uh, coming weeks. As for this week, 77 by Saturday. How about 79 by Sunday? And then we're back into the 80s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Our next cold front comes through middle of next week. So we're going to watch for a slight cool down. Not much there, but at least we'll reset those averages once again. Back to you, Lindsay. All right, Matt, thank you.